hello and welcome to this affinity photo tutorial and this came about from a Facebook group called affinity photo and Stuart Pearson asked about how it was, he could make a circular pie chart with seven equal sections that he was having trouble making now there were quite a few answers and various different sort of answers and even a bit further down here Paul Mundit made a little video which I think was done on the iPad um, to help show how he would have done it and further down um, there's also another video here which is made if I remember correctly was made by Heiko, um, I must be, I'm not going to try and pronounce that second name, um, which showed a different way to make the um, pie chart with the seven sections. Now, the seven sections is only what sort of Stuart wanted originally, so I'm going to stick with that idea, but you could make it with less. Um, now, following those little videos within that question and some of the written answers I came up with three different ways to get the end result one of them is an ellipse layer one of them is a group layer and one is a pixel layer so there's not it's like with many things in any sort of program there's more than one way to do a certain job now this will probably be better done in Affinity Designer but you know, as the person was asking about it in Affinity Photo I'm going to stick with Affinity Photo so we will look at well, the first we're going to try I've just started three new documents all, they're all A5 but the size doesn't really matter and they're all sort of variations on a theme and the first one so sort of we're all using like a certain shape to start with now this first one I'm going to start with the star tool and I've got snapping turned on and I'm going to find the center and once you've found the center you have this red and green line going across now if you read the this line down the bottom here it will give you like the keys that you need to press to get the relevant sort of how you want it to draw out so I want to constrain proportions which is the shift key and I also want it to create from the center point so that's the control key so I'm going to hold down the shift and the control when I draw out this image now this is all well and good on a PC or a Mac which I'm guessing is shift and command how you do this on an iPad I have absolutely no idea probably need 94 fingers to try and do this but um, so I've got my center point holding down the shift and the control key and then click and drag out my star shape so it is in the center and once I've got it roughly the size I want, let go of the mouse key and then let go of the shift and control keys. Now this has got five sections and I want seven. So I'm going to change this number of points up here to seven. So there's my seven sided star. And this is just a guide, it is not, we're letting the end, we can just delete it. So then I'm going to come to the pen tool. Now you could probably do this with um, a pencil. I'm not certain. It might just be in design of the pencil tool. I can't remember. But I'm going to use the pen tool anyway. And just come to the top of one of these star points and you'll have the sort of lines to show you that you're in the right place click once come down to the middle find the middle point click again 
and then come over to the star point on the other side and then back to the starting point and then double click it to make that square go from blue to white so that will finish the operation now I'm just going to quickly just double check I'll come onto the node tool and I'll just make sure that that one is on the end of that node or the, at that point of the star and that one should be because that I had the lines there so I'll, I'll just zoom out again so like I have my first triangle so come back to the pen tool and what I will do, so if I come back to that and I will complete the fill and give it a colour so we know where that is so again I will just let's We've got this point here. So again, I will just come to the node tool, zoom in. Now this is one of you know, the a long-winded way of doing this, but it does help to get the it, you know right in the point of that song. point of the star and again pick a fill colour so I'll go with orange this time and then it's just a case of repeating this all the way round so I'm going to pause the video here while I complete that so I'll be back in a moment okay I've just got one more section to go now and one thing I did sort of forget to mention like when you're on the pen tool is if you select the star layer at the bottom you, you will sort of get the guides back and then you will be able to get the points far easier without having to use the node tool to move these about and let me do that there down to the middle back to the beginning and then just pick a colour to fill this with so let's go with a dark blue so that is the sort of setting up of the sections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this bottom layer is selected I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the top layer and then I'm going to right click and group all those together so you don't need this star layer anymore you can turn it off or delete it which is what I'm going to do here so now we have that we just need a circle from this selection so one way of doing this is get the ellipse tool and now I, I personally find it hard to draw a design um, shape on top of a shape that's already selected so I find it easier just to add a pixel layer and although this shape will sort of draw a new layer and it won't use this I just find it a lot easier myself so again we've got the ellipse tool and much like before it's shift and control to draw the circle from the center outwards so find the center hold down shift and control and drag out my circle to about there 
I can then delete that layer and then all I've got to do is make this a child of the circle layer so I can just click move it to the right slightly and move it up until it is inside that circle and then holding down the control key and clicking and dragging one of the corners I can move this out until that makes the seven sectioned pie chart and this is the ellipse way of doing it so coming on to the next way which is going to be using a polygon tool so we'll come down here and the polygon tool is there and again like before shift and control to create from the middle point so find the middle point shift and control drag outwards and then change the size from 5 to 7 so the next thing we want to do is we want to add some guidelines here now for this you, you need like the rulers active and you can make those active by coming to view and show rulers or you can do control plus R and when you got the rulers active you can come to the move tool and just click on a ruler and drag down and bring it down to the center point that way and drag one out across this way until you get this center point both horizontally and vertically it's a bit harder with this polygon shape to get the triangles right to get to the center point now just a word of caution here is the fact that now I've got my center point fixed as you can see the vertical line comes through that center node which is what we want but the horizontal line does not go through the center of the um, two nodes on the end of the polygon so although this was drawn out from the center it is not really centered so I'm going to move that up so the nodes are on the horizontal guideline and that node is on the vertical guideline because this will help with the drawing of the triangles so they will then be centered a couple of my practice goes I didn't notice that and the triangles are all coming out all the wrong sizes so once you have that polygon pro actually centered on the guidelines you are sort of good to go with the next bit which is the pen tool we're sort of very similar to the previous way of doing this now I find I'm not a big fan of the pen tool I do struggle with it I must admit um, so I'm going to click on the first node and then go to an outside node because after that it sort of the, you don't know where to go next which is why having the guidelines helps you find that center point so I'm going to click on that node go to that node and you can see the polygon is no longer being highlighted so you would have trouble finding the middle but now I've got my guidelines there I can come back double clicking that node to make it go white and then I can fill my triangle with a color so you could technically carry on and draw like we did before but I want to do this in a slightly different way I want to use the power copy option that's available in Affinity Photo and for this I'm going to go to the move tool make sure we're on the right layer and 
I'm going to press Ctrl and J to duplicate that layer and what I'm also going to do is alter the rotation point now, you can do this by this sort of target icon up here click on that make sure that that is highlighted and you will have a target here in the middle and I'm going to click and drag this down to the center so it will rotate from that point there and then we just need to put in the amount of how far to rotate it now a circle is 360 degrees and divided by 7 that will make this 51.43 and if I press return that will then rotate that layer round to the left and now if I continue to press Ctrl and J it will complete the other sections giving me all the sections that I need quite easily without me having to redraw them so it's just a case now of changing the color of the fill of each section sort of one at a time it's a little bit time consuming but it's a lot easier than drawing every triangle one at a time change the fill on this one green and just one more for a yellowy color that will do so all I'm going to do now is I mean I could group these together but let me just do that I mean it's not necessary to group them together for this next bit will sort of sort of make that bit null and void but it just tidies this up a little bit because what I'm going to do now because the next bit I want to do is to use a selection to make the circle and you can't do this because this is like a, a vector group I need it to be a pixel layer so what I'm going to do is right click this group and just come down to merge visible so I can then turn off or delete those layers so we now have a pixel image of what we made before so I'm now going to get the elliptical marquee tool and again we want to do this from the center and this time reading the bottom bit down here you just need to hold down the shift for this so come to the center and hold down the shift key and draw out a circle but stay within the confines of the image there let go of the mouse and then the key so we now have that selection there so if I now press Control and J and I turn off that layer below we now have a circle with the seven sections now you can get rid of the selection area by pressing Control and D or you can just click on this button up here that says deselect so you could then just get rid of those guidelines and there you have the next seven sectioned circle there's a lot of faffing around but is a different way to do it so you know you could then delete everything that you had here and then you just got a simple pixel layer so moving on to the last method which is probably the best way to do it which is why I've left it till last um, and that is using the pie 
at all. Uh, again, this is one of these selections here, and click on that Pi tool. And much like before, it's finding the center, and much like before, it's holding down Shift and Control to draw out that pie chart so why it's probably best to use this one this method, I mean you can use any method whichever one suits your personal taste and what you understand is going on it's because this is already a circle you don't, you're you not having to sort of put it into a circle or select circles it's already a circle pretty much by design so what we want is the first triangle now at the moment it's got total angle is 270 so what we want to put in here is the 51.43 so we got 51.43 press return and you have your first triangle so we're going to use the power copy option again and first of all we need to be on the move tool and then press Control and J to duplicate that layer and then down in the transform panel make sure that it is the center square that is the one highlighted because we rotate from the center and then just type in your 51.43 press return and then you can just keep pressing Control and J to get all your other sections and then it's just a case of changing the colors to each section to whatever color that you want Try and do this as quick as possible. And the last one. I mean, I could leave it white, but we'll go for a, a light blue. So I can then group all these together. So, yeah, you can then move it around and resize it if you want, and it will keep your sections all the same. So, this is the, the grouped version, which I think will be the best way to go if you're making a pie chart. And the pixel version, and like ellipse version. And obviously, I've restricted this sort of to a seven sections but you don't have to stick to seven sections or even equal sized sections because I mean most pie charts would be something like this where you'd have some sections bigger than others so I will show you how I did this particular one um, which I've just set up quickly so what I'll do is I'll start a new document again I'll make it A5 so come to the pie tool find the center hold control shift and I'm going to keep this simple um, in the various sizes because it's easier to work this way just for this quick demonstration but I'm going to make the total size of the first division 45 so that would be so like an eighth size of a circle I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to change the size of the next one to 
90 and then with the handle that's up here um, that when you put it the cursor near the top of that handle it will change to a double ended arrow and I'm going to hold down the shift key when I do this and I'm just going to move this around and then I'm going to change its color so it's a different color to that first section and let me just change the color of that one because it's not so visible on the white background let's go with that yellow so I'm going to duplicate that one again and most like before hold down the shift key I'm going to rotate this one round to there I'm going to change its color to a mauve and doesn't matter which one you pick I'll pick the green layer and I'll duplicate that again and this time I'm going to make it 180 and then find the rotation handle hold down the shift key and then just bring this all the way around the other side and again we'll change the color so as long as the divisions of the different sections you make will all add up to 360 in the end I mean I made my life easier by using sort of eighths quarters and halves of a circle but as you can see you could make a pie chart like that so if you are in the process of making a pie chart best to use the pie tool and sort of work out how you want to divide it up and make each layer different and then you could obviously add text like I did wherever it is here just add text layers above each section so basically that is it the three different ways the first two ways are probably you know very work intensive but the results will all end up the same you will get your pie chart in a circle so thank you for watching i hope this has been of some help and goodbye